Hey everyone, welcome to Waxing Pixels, the Battle Geek Plus podcast. The only one, not just Battle Geek, but Battle Geek Plus, because we're anime. My name's Josh, and with me, as always, I have Heather. Hi! Ryan. Hey! And Frankie Kong. Komodachi. <laughs> Komodachi. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, well, we're anime, so of course. But we're dubbed anime over here. I'm not. Fuck you guys. Why aren't you dubbed like me? I want to be the guy. Speed lines. Let that thing alone. <laughs> <laughs> Frank's over there being Japanese anime like some kind of weeb. Look at him. Well, you can't because it's a podcast. But look at him. He looks so I'm the weeby. Se- I'm the serious type. Oh, right. Right. You know, just imagine so it in annoying. your mind. So serious. So serious. He's like... He's like TN from DBZ Abridged, like the only serious character. Anyway, uh, how you guys doing? Good. We had Frank's delicious chili earlier. Ah, that was, sounds wrong. It was delicious, though. <laughs> it was delicious. So if you hear... I'm having it right now. So if you hear the passing of gas during this podcast, you'll know why. Or the choking... It was Ryan. Or, or, or the it's always me! Ha ha ha! Wow. You were way too excited for that. He's, he's got like a death ray in his butt. <laughs> so, the guy, what are we looking for today in this exciting episode of Battle Geek Plus? Well, you know, before we get to that, I was wondering, uh, what are you guys playing lately? I am playing poker at the inventory two. Sounds pokery. Now, I fold on that answer. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now explain like what, what makes this different than like a, some other poker game. Well, uh, you get to... <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> you get to see interaction between uh, four uh, well-known uh, science fiction characters like Brock Samson, Claptrap, Ash Williams, and uh, Sam from Max and Sam. Max and Sam. Or Sam, that Sam and Max. Whatever, Sam. Whichever yeah, yeah. One. You know what was funny? I was trying to think of that character's name the other day. I was like, Sam and... Salmon. Steve. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, what's another character's name? And I looked at my my coworker Max, and I'm like, Max, what's another character's name? And he's looking at me, and he's like, I don't know. <laughs> we we couldn't think of it for the Fail. longest time. He's like, but I know what you're talking about. It's like the dog and like the the rabbit and and whatever right. they're detectives and shit. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. No, we could not think of the other character's name being Max, despite him his name being Max. And I'm like, Max. But it's what with is his two name? X's. Oh, well, then. I think it's with you, X. Ma- Max, what's Sam's friend's name? Right. I don't know. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was weird. How, so, like, how does how does Brock Samson count as sci-fi? Science fiction. Like, yeah, I'm, oh, I know what that means, but, like... Have you seen Why? Is it, is, it, is it strictly because of the robots and whatever? I no, never, I never really thought about... In the first one, it, uh, they used uh, the heavy from Team Fortress 2. Yeah, I remember uh, that. Max from Sam and Max. Mm-hmm. Uh, Strong Bad from the Internet series. Okay. And some other guy, I can't remember his name, that's also on a, like a co- web, web comic. Oh, okay. That's about, I that's about games. So. I don't, I don't, I just feel like... There are definite science fiction elements to There the are, but I don't feel like it's a science fiction-y show. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know why. I well, just... okay, fictional characters. How about that? That works. Yeah, that, that as works. Long, as long as it works for Heather... Yeah. Yeah. Cuz I also would I also am that kind of person that um Ash to me is not a sci-fi character even though um paranormal stuff is lumped in with sci-fi. Mm-hmm. Um I feel like it should be a completely different category in my opinion. Fantasy horror. Comedy. Yeah, something like that. Fantasy horror comedy. Yeah. Ryan, what are you playing? I am playing a lot of games right now. Um let me begin. I am playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice on the 3DS. I am... Objection. Yes. Objection. Yes, I am on the last case and then after that I have to play the DLC. And I also will be doing an awesome video game memories video of that. So look forward to that in the next couple of weeks. And also um, over the weekend, I played Naruto online because on my Twitter feed, um, I could not stop seeing ads for this. And I I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to try this game to see if it's any good. And uh, it's not really that bad, but it's not really that good either. Now with that game, all right, so when I saw ads for it, I saw ads for it on Facebook, You're right. and the ads that they had 
were uh, they were showing gameplay from Naruto Storm Four. Yeah, exactly. And so I'm all like, all right, I'll go ahead and take a look at this free MMO and see what's going on. Maybe maybe it's like that, and you just you know you select a menu thing, and then it does the animation, you know. Yeah. But it's not like free moving fighting and stuff like that. And then I actually go and I take a look at it, and it's like you know overhead click to move where you want yeah, to yeah i like did not look yeah, style yeah, i did not look at any um yeah i actually did not look this game up i just wanted to go into it blind and i was kind of surprised well, you you streamed that on our yeah, twitch channel I did. right yeah uh twitch.tv slash battle geek plus which you can actually find our uh, you can actually find uh 15 minute segments of that on the battle geek plus channel or you will very soon depends on when they go up uh, but if you want to catch them like as they happen, definitely uh, start following us on Twitch. Um, other than that, you playing anything else? Um, let me see. Well, actually, I do want to talk a little more about Naruto Online. Okay. Like, yeah, it is a it is a top down game, kind of like Diablo in a way. But it, it it reminds me a lot of Legacy of Goku for the Game Boy Advance, where you spent most of your time killing squirrels in the forest. Those evil squirrels. And now uh, this—they deserve death. And, 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 and mostly Naruto Online. It it definitely it tries to recreate a lot of stuff from the anime. It, it takes a lot of liberties, and you're mostly killing wolves. And I kind of evil wolves. And I kind of stopped playing because I wanted to get all the way to the part where you fight Zabza and the bridge. But then right in the middle of that, like they said, oh, you 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 had to go back to Konoha for training and kill more wolves. That's kind of when I gave up the game. <laughs> You can't just go from wolves to Zabza. That doesn't yeah, yeah, work I that to way. Yeah, I to fight Zabza. I mean, I'm, so I was like, you know... Uh, you know how yeah. long it takes for a ninja to get to the Zabza level? Yep. You don't know, bub. Like three or four chapters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, um, you know, this game's not terrible. I see why people might like it, but I just don't want to, you know, just kill wolves all day. So I'm kind of done with the game, really. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I've am been streaming Arkham Knight lately. I started it on uh, Batman Day, played some Arkham Knight, and I started into the story mode, and I was like, oh, well, might as well just play through the story mode. So I've been trying to do that, but today I kind of got to a point where I just got super sloppy and killed for a really dumb reason. Like, I was in the middle of a quick time sequence with one of the dudes with the big guns, and then uh, one of the turrets, like, saw me and shot me and killed me. So that is just, lame. Yeah, like I thought I was around the corner and it wouldn't see me, but I guess it was just kind of like walls. What are those? Because like the red light that's supposed to come by. It curved looks the bullet. You, yeah, it did. It was, like, <laughs> it was like you know the movie version of Wanted, which you know curved the plot into stupidity. Oh my god, it was. <laughs> yeah, that was that was awful. But yeah, I, so I've been streaming that, but I've been kind of wanting to get through it quickly so I can get started on Tomb Raider before Rise of the Tomb Raider comes out on PS4 next week. But I think I'm just going to cut it off with that death and just leave it alone for a little bit and start with Tomb Raider and see if I can get that finished by next week. And then I can start doing Rise of the Tomb Raider on Twitch while you're doing uh, Gears of War 4. And then we can do some like Batman VR together and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah next week well, we definitely plan to do the PlayStation VR. Um, I also plan on doing Gears of War 4 and maybe the Duke Nukem 20th anniversary, but I'm not sure yet. I, I might spend more time on Gears of War 4. Right. Other than that, I've been playing uh, Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS. I'm at the Water Temple right now, so really, I'm just all around in shitty portions of games. I just I saw your tweet earlier about how you were wandering around, and you wandered outside the temple, and you yeah. were like, well, I'm done for the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was like, I got like all the way to the bottom, and then all the way back up to the very top, and I made the water go all the way back up, and then I was out of keys, <laughs> and I can't find another place to get keys, and I'm all looking around. I'm like, I've been here, I've been here, I've been here. And I see, and I'm like, wait, I don't recognize that door. And I go through it, and it leads me outside. You know, I'm just kind of like, go yeah. outside, and all of a sudden, dun, 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 and I'm just like, I shut the 3DS. I'm like, that's enough Water Temple for me today. Yeah. And I remember that when I first played it. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone now, did. Now, Even now, people that didn't play it. Not having to go to the pause screen to uh, change into your uh, inventory metal boots, like, that's a fucking lifesaver. You can do that? Like, oh my I, god. I, I just set the boots to, as like an item on the touch screen. Or you, or you can set it as a button. 
uh, on, on you know, and, and you can just what? boop, boop, and like you can just toggle the boots on oh. and off as oh you go. My God. Makes it so much better than playing it on the 64. Oh, yeah, like there's, there's two other <laughs> save files. Just don't play the game with your penis. That's my 3ds. Mm. <laughs> so uh, get, yeah, they don't have that attachment yet. Ch- like like put the game in your 3ds if you're gonna play with your penis. Except um, that I don't have a 3ds. Oh see, well, well then. that's a problem. You don't know it? how to live. Yeah, I. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't want my uh, 3ds to get stolen. <laughs> I'll uh, think about that next time. I when forgot that, got that it got stolen. Yeah, I, I'm I sorry, bet your thieves were like 3ds, more like free ds. <laughs> Free DS, <laughs> and then they were all like, "Man, why does this 3DS smell like penis?" That, Brian, was a bad joke. <laughs> Should feel bad for it. <laughs> In fact, after this podcast, I expect you to go over the corner and think about what you just said. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, um, what have you been up to? I have been playing through the Phoenix Wright series. I've always wanted to play it. I've never had the chance to play it. Well, then Ryan lent me his uh, DS Lite, and I'm currently on the last case of the third game, and um, it's it, it's getting, like, this particular, this last case is, like, really, really interesting, and I was, like, really glad that they finally got back to this particular storyline, and um, my only complaint with the game is, so far, has been the same complaint with all the games that I've played, all, all three of them, of the originals, is... It is the, the, the writing plot holes um, and the game wanting you to go down a certain path for questioning or noticing evidence. And um, it, gets, it gets really irritating. Sometimes you can uh, present multiple pieces of evidence for one particular question, but maybe you do it on the wrong question, which doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It's, there are some things that they definitely could do better. Um, I'm hoping that it gets better as I continue playing the series uh, and get up to where Ryan's at. But uh, I haven't played it in the last couple of days. I, I'm probably going to start playing it again tonight because I'm like literally like on the last trial. And uh, so <coughs> it'll be fun and interesting. Yeah, and actually the good news is um, beginning from the fourth game, they kind of toned down the difficulty of that. So now you don't have to present as much evidence. So. I mean, I like the whole idea of presenting evidence and everything. It's just the writing holes. Like, huge writing holes. Oh, yeah, just... yeah. There's still going to be writing holes. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah, that's just, like, you know, my biggest... My number one complaint about the game. Like, there have been times where I have, like, legit just been, like... Close a DF and be like, fuck it, and I don't touch it for, like, four days or something like right. that. <laughs> um, other than that, um, I have been... I started streaming Sticks last week. I've never finished the game. Yeah, go ahead and look at me that way, Frank. Dick. I was going to <laughs> comment on it, but now... Uh-huh. Well, you were staring at me like... Well, I was getting ready to, like, get into the confrontation. <laughs> but then you're like, shields up! Phasers to stun to kill! Yeah, because you're always like, oh, have you finished sticks yet? You're always asking me that. Well, you have been, like, playing... You, you have started, like... Three different times. I know. <laughs> in like on like two different versions of it. I know. Over like six months. And you I were excited know. about the second game coming I know. out. I like, know. oh man, this is so awesome. You hadn't even gotten it halfway through. I know, the game. I haven't. I've I only finished um the part where I stopped was like uh I would say the beginning of the third mission. The third mission. I don't even know how many missions there are, but I know I, there's way more than three. There's way more than three. There is way more than three. And um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting whenever I finally get to that portion of the game when streaming, because then I'll be playing blind. And, you know, the amount of times I just fuck everything up. That'll, that'll yeah. be fun and Just to let you know, they, they reuse a bunch of the maps, so... You'll be you'll start from one part and then go to the other part and when another mission starts you'll fight you'll start from another part and you go to a different part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's. Uh, I'll be uh, streaming that some more again this week and then um, once Tomb Raider comes out for the PlayStation, I know that uh, I'm gonna have to be fighting my husband for the system oh. because I know he's gonna be streaming it. That's fine and dandy. I won't stream it since he's gonna be streaming it. But I know that I will probably have to drug a drink of his or something just so I could get some gameplay out of my own. I'm or, pretty you know, sure. <laughs> you, can, you can play it while I'm at jujitsu. 
at nine in the morning? Fuck that. No, no. There, there are days that I have off or days that I work earlier, you know, things like that. Yeah. You can do it then. So. I also have a job. And I'm also tomorrow going to see about getting a second job. Eh, whatever. Don't worry about it. Just play Tomb Raider. You know, uh, you'll have time to play Tomb Raider. Trust me. Okay. You're, it, this isn't like this isn't like Arkham, where like you're all like, I get to play it first this time, and like I was like going nuts, you know. Yeah, like a fucking four year old. Well, come on, it's Arkham, like. Yeah, and what? What is your your fanboyism greater than my fangirlism? I don't think so. Yes. No. Yes. No, it's I have, not. I have five years more of fanness on. Oh please. On you. you please. So, <laughs> I'm you merely so adopted the game. He was born. Oh, please. <laughs> Mold. <laughs> Mold. <laughs> See, you don't get it. Like, Arkham City shot my parents <laughs> when I was a child. And this was finally my chance to get justice. Uh-huh. And okay. you're all like, no, I'm going to play it first. And so I had to watch you get justice. Yeah, and it was awesome because the other couple of games that came, other Batman games that came out, you got to play them first. Well, yeah, it's because we were alternating by that point. Oh, what's that? You got the, You got screwed over. What? Because I went first, and then you went first, and then I went first. So that's me going first twice. Oh, okay. I <laughs> see? see what you're getting at. Yeah. Well, that, the, the first game that came out, um, I wasn't able to play because the day that we got it, I had to go to work. Oh, And right. that's why you ended up getting to play it first. Yeah, and well, then we, like, flipped a coin or something for the next game. That's what you get for having a job. I know. How dare I have money to make sure that you have things like food? I know, right? Like, who, how dare who? you have adult responsibilities? I know. Yeah, who needs how them? Dare you? Stupid adult responsibilities. Stupid adults. Giving us a place to live and money to buy games and stuff so we could talk about them on this podcast. Yeah. Uh, so, anywho, uh, we're gonna be talking about a lot of fun stuff today. Uh, we're gonna be talking about uh, the Famicom Mini coming out in Japan. No. We're going to be talking about Super Mario 64's fan-made sequel. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to be talking about uh, the FOVE, I hope we're saying that right, F-O-V-E, FOVE VR headsets and what they bring to virtual reality. Uh, we're going to be continuing on with more VR discussion, talking about the length and the content of Batman Arkham VR, and uh, we'll finish it again with VR. VR is a big topic right now. Sony talking about PSVR and their ultimate FAQ. Uh, Heather and Ryan looked over that, and uh, so we'll have some fun stuff to talk about there. So starting off, though, Famicom Mini. Hell yes. Famicom Mini. I watched Josh wet himself. Oh, uh, it won't be the last time. Oh, I know. Famicom Mini. He's already on Famicom his way. Famicom Mini. <laughs> right? So, so everyone knows about the uh, NES Mini, you know, coming out uh, in November. Uh, pretty much within a day of when that comes out, Japan's getting its own Famicom Mini, which it does have a few title differences, like it has River City Ransom, Final Fantasy III, has this uh, really cool sumo game and stuff like that that we're not getting on the NES Mini. But the but other than that, it's pretty much the same thing, same sort of emulator and whatnot, but it's set to look like the original Famicom, hardwired controllers and all. Now, uh, the Famicom Mini being Mini and the controllers actually being able to dock onto it, the controllers are smaller as well. They look like more like uh, the size of like the buttons on like a Game Boy or something like that, or or like an SP or something. The controllers okay. are so tiny. The controller is like tiny and adorable, and it's gonna look like just like this little tiny mini thing like in my giant hands. My giant... it'll be perfect for my hands. I have tiny hands. Right. Like, a lot of people are like, why? The controllers are too tiny. But, like, I mean, if you've played a Game Boy, like, you can you can use the buttons. Well, I'm pretty sure Japan mean. has more people with tiny hands and big hands. Well, yeah, that, and they're, like, totally into, you know, kawaii culture. So, you know, like... <laughs> well, it's super kawaii, so... Yeah, it is, it is. So, uh, Ryan, have you seen uh, the Famicom Mini? Yet? Oh, yes, I have. Uh, and, I, and I definitely want to get it, too. <laughs> yeah, it's running for, what, like, 60 bucks? Um, yeah, although... Um, I've seen it on eBay, but um, but they're charging well, like some people are charging 120 bucks for well, it. Oh like, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure you people can just got to make a profit, yo. I'm pretty sure you can just buy this from Play Asia for 60 bucks plus an insane amount of shipping. <laughs> well, if Play Asia usually has uh, pretty fair shipping prices, but it, but it's a little bit slower than say like Amazon Japan. Yeah. Um, Amazon Japan, like you'll be getting like 40 bucks shipping right there, like, and then you might have like import fees, which are like another. 
15 bucks or so. You yeah. Know? So that's, uh, so, you know, where you get it from, you want to take a look at that. But definitely take a look at uh, PlayAsia, see if they're going to do it. There's no pre-order listing yet on Amazon Japan for the Famicom Mini, but I'm keeping an eye on it, hoping that it'll uh, come soon. It looks like, though, that it doesn't come with the... It doesn't come with the uh, power adapter. Yeah, that's like, what I Like, it's read. a separate thing, which I've seen that happen before with Nintendo products. So, But uh, the price jump isn't really that big to get the bundle that has both, which you can get that on uh, Amazon Japan as well, or you can just get the Famicom Mini by itself. Uh, again, 30 games, uh, no online mode, no like downloading games. Uh, you got the save states and all that, just like the NES Mini. Only you have two hardwired controllers it comes with rather than one, which you can plug into a Wii remote and everything like that. I don't know. What are you guys listening? Uh, what do you think is better, the NES Mini or the Famicom Mini? Which one do you want more and uh, why? Let us know in the comments below or tweet at us uh, at BattleGeek Plus uh, and let us know what you think. So, staying in Nintendo though. Uh, we're talking about uh, Super Mario 64 gets a fan-made sequel. What? Whoa. So it's Super Mario 65? Yes, <laughs> Super Mario well, 65. What, yeah. what actually was it called? Uh, I think it's called... Um, uh, <laughs> Here we go. Super Mario 64 Last Impact. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so what's some of the stuff that's uh, that's going on with this Mario 64 hack? Uh, it, it was created by a, a, a Japanese guy, right? Uh, Kaze Ima... Nu... Uh, that doesn't look like a Japanese the, Yeah, name. that last name doesn't look Japanese at all. Right. Uh, Kaze somebody. Emmanuel or something like that. Yeah. Uh, has been working on an unofficial fan-made sequel to Super Mario 64. We're seeing this on ggmania.com, by the way. Uh, yeah, it's super short, and um, yeah, it's supposed to. It's just. It's really just a hack of the game. Um, there's gonna be 130 stars, 12 power-ups. There's a lot of new bosses. There's even some completely new levels. 12 power-ups. It Whoa. is. It is available for download right now. However. What? The second the Nintendo gets a whiff of this, you know there's going to be a cease and desist letter that's going to be sent this out. Is, this is going to be like that uh, Nintendo Power issues on uh, Correct. archive.org. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Download it down now. Real quick. Yeah. Like, so yeah, if you if you want it, you best you best hit it up and download it before this starts really getting some traction. We just happened to to stumble across this, and uh, I mean this it's Tuesday right now. I mean this podcast is going to go up Thursday. Um, if it's still available Thursday, you better snap it up before the weekend is over because uh, it probably won't be around come next week. That is for sure. Right? Yeah. Because yeah, Nintendo is really fast at taking this down. Right? But 12 power-ups, though. Like, can you imagine, like, what, what all do you think uh, some of those power-ups might be? Like, not looking at the video or anything like that. How about the old-fashioned fireball? Uh, maybe oh, maybe wait. Giant Mario. Like, I Raccoon. hope they have, like, a Mega Mushroom. I loved that yeah, in yeah, uh, Mega New Mushroom. Super Mario Brothers. Here we go! Just three steps. <laughs> that would be cool, though. Mega Mushroom against, like, Bowser. Like, Final Bowser. Oh, God. Show that would make that fight so much easier. <laughs> Bloop! Just, like, yeah, stomp yeah. him. You can kick Bowser on the bombs this time. <laughs> like, you just kick him so far that he can't jump back in. Like, you that can would attack be his pride. <laughs> or, or, imagine, or imagine you be, you become Mega Mario in, like, a, in a lava level. You know, you step into the lava. <laughs> like, just giant Mario just flying smoke everywhere. <laughs> You know, that would just be crazy. Uh, but I'm sure they'll have, you know, Metal Mario and Wing Cat Mario and all that stuff. Uh, I would assume... Tanuki Mario. <laughs> oh, yeah. Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Joe. He's going to have Joe. Like, you're going to you have a power-up that turns you into Joe. And you're going to have the ability to store tons of memorabilia in your closets. Yeah. <laughs> Which I asked him recently if he had 17 closets. Apparently he only has four. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. He even showed me pictures. I was impressed with his Tetris ability. The 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 other Joe power up is uh, is the ability to to write comedy once you bug him enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, yeah. So Super Mario sixty four fan made sequel. 
uh, get it soon. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to get it. I mean, I'm sure there are going to be other people who are uploading at places after Nintendo says no. But this is probably the best time to get it and maybe uh, not have to search for it on torrents or whatever. Uh, you'll be able to play it via emulator. I'm sure uh, maybe you could get it onto a flash card or something if you really want to play it on the original hardware, but just worry about getting it in the first place right now and uh, kind of go from there. So, anybody else got any uh, further comments on any Nintendo news or anything like that before we switch gears? No, nope, not for me. There's nothing on the NX. <laughs> <laughs> no, still nothing on the NX. The the NX is oh, yeah. still something's on the NX. Zelda. <laughs> oh <clears throat> yeah, but we don't have any new news about the NX. Oh. So, well, actually, no. There was this one guy. There, there was an engineer. He said, uh, "Fuck you." That's why. See, I saw that coming. So <laughs> well, I'm not going to be any points on that. Now, see, that's because you cheated and you used your sharring gun. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nerd. Whatever, you're a nerd. You just like different things. Yeah, I know. Like your penis. <laughs> What's with that? I didn't know I was a... I, could, I didn't know someone could be a nerd penis. Like, like a penis like nerd. A penis like a penis nerd? I'm like, pretty sure there's a doctor out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sir, fair you, you're what we like to call ginormous. Ginormicus scrotumus. The so. penis nerd. Like, I'm just imagining, like, how, how would that work? Like, I'm just, like, all the same stereotypes of somebody who's, like, a big, like, nerd of, of, about something, <laughs> you know. But so instead, many puns. Looks like you're ahead of the competition there, Mr. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can see them, like, you know, having in-depth conversations about, you know, whether or not it's best for your penis to have its own hat. Or, or, you know, conversations about whether or not, you know, like, when you use Viagra, if your boner is canon. Get it? Get it? No, uh, that was just filler. Yeah, it certainly did filler. Ooh, I see what you did there. That's pretty good. That's wow. pretty good, Hammer. So, yeah. I have to give you a... Uh, Invincibility star for that one. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> she was doing flips and everything. It's just too flips bad. Flips and that... shit. Oh, wow. Everywhere. Doing flips and shit. Yeah, uh, so it's really interesting how we can uh, use penis uh, as a way to uh, break up topics. Uh, we're, we're kind you of can like also a... use peanuts. Pe- peanuts? Peanuts. Pe- peanuts? Peanuts to break up other things like, you know... Relationships. Lives, relationships, marriages. Right? No. Actual like, stones. I feel like... <laughs> no, no, I feel like uh, when we were starting to do this podcast, you were talking about, like, Kevin Smith and how he said, like, you know, people need yes. to try doing uh... podcasts. Like, was one of his tips to do a lot of dick jokes? Ah, tips. Uh, <laughs> was one of his tips I to thought you said dick... tits, but whatever. Yeah, one, one of his tips to do a lot of dick jokes or anything like that? Because, you know, he's a dick and fart joke kind of guy. Well, mostly, um, his, his advice was, um, if you ever do a Turtles podcast, you can do one based on Leonardo and one based on Donatello. Really? Uh, yeah. He, he said that? Yeah. He, just that's break it much, all up? That's pretty much what he said. Huh. Just break it all up. Like, this is the I feel Donatello like there's podcast. A, I, I feel like that there's a dick joke in there somewhere, but, you no, know. No, very surprisingly, <laughs> when he tells the, when he actually tells the crowd, like, during a live show, you know, I want everyone in this room, you know, you know okay, here's your homework assignment. I want you all to start a podcast. No, he actually doesn't break. He doesn't break out the dick jokes. Huh? That's interesting. Yeah. Like I was thinking, like maybe you mean, during his you mean whip jokes. out the, the dick jokes. Showing. I was actually uh, taking a look at. <laughs> okay, I'm done. All right, okay. No, no, you're talking about Ninja Turtles. I was actually looking at the Ninja Turtles arcade video we did. Yeah. Uh, the playthrough we did for uh, the for youtubecom slash plus and uh, that was a plug by the way and Frank he was playing as Donatello he actually did have a dick joke there he was all like I'm the D and I know where to stick it like I totally forgot that you said that wow I totally forgot about that too yeah I forgot I said that and, and, <laughs> yeah and you were all like oh you're horrible and all that stuff and I don't know um, but anyway so uh, we're out of Ninja Turtles and we're out of dick jokes for the minute we are um, never out of Donatello's. 
Ah, you, you kind of caught me off guard there. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be talking about porn very quickly. Oh, um, yes, because uh, Fove VR headsets are bringing eye tracking to virtual reality. Ooh. Porn! So, so, so we looked at a video of this kind of demonstrating the idea of uh, what's going on here, but you, but Heather, you were the one who actually read the article about it. So what is Fove trying to do, and what sort of features are they bringing, and why would it be good for VR? Well, the thing is, with um, all VR headsets right now, it's basically just a screen that you are watching, and something that tends to end up causing a lot of problems is the possibility of motion sickness. And we've talked about it before, I tend to get motion sick, you know, with things like I've, you know, watched Josh do... Um, uh, uh, the VR, you Oculus, know, and, I think? yeah, yeah, was, yeah. We tried out the Oculus, or at least you got to try out the Oculus, and I ended up getting uh, motion sick from watching you play, and uh, so it's definitely something that is an issue for me. I will end up probably not being able to play a lot of VR, uh, but you know, the guy who was uh, demoing it did say that um, you know, it whenever you yourself are the person wearing the headset. Uh, you will acclimate to it uh, a lot easier because you you ha you're the one who has control over where you're looking. Um, the thing with the uh, the faux VR headset is that they are implementing eye tracking m movements, and eye tracking is nothing new uh, with infrared cameras and whatnot. Um, but the thing is, is that having the eye tracking motion means that it's actually going to decrease the possibility of motion sickness uh, for people who are using that. So I'm actually really stoked about that. Um, and, you know, basically the whole idea is that, you know, making, having a VR set that tracks your eyes will make the game more, more immersive, more interactable, because then you will be able to make eye contact with characters, other players, um, you know, and and being able to kind of like look in certain areas that you might have to like turn your head in a very awkward way to, to look, you know, and there the idea of having the eye tracking uh, ability will be so that you know, it will help uh, just immerse yourself more, you know, with like emotion and stuff like that. So depending on the way you maybe like if you had, you know, a VR telltale game. You know, maybe one of the, if you had one of these headsets, maybe they could implement, you know, if you looked at somebody in a certain way or you looked away from somebody, it might impact the way a decision is made by that character or how that character perceives you as the player. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm spitballing on that. There was some definite stuff we did see, however, though, like uh, the concept of uh, rendering in, in the distance and up close and like focus changing and stuff like that based on where you were looking and whatnot. Yeah. Sort of like in real life, you know, if I look over at the TV here, you're not quite in focus. I look at you, the TV is not quite in focus, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. And then like the game will actually change in that sort of way uh, when you're doing that stuff. Now the, the video though, uh -huh. we were watching that video and Frank, you, you were, you were there for kind of like the end of the video when it went back to like regular reality like the the video had like the girl and the guy like in in the country cottage. And oh were, yeah, yeah. They were they were like you know like eating lunch together or whatever, and it's like it's from her point of view the whole time, and she's looking at the guy and she's looking at the house and the stuff in the background and everything, and then it goes back to her taking off the headset. And what was it that you said? Mm -hmm. um, it, it was something about like how it was like sad or something like that. Oh yeah, it's like just like how I remember he used to be. Like like that was just. That, that just made it, that whole video sad. It looked sad. Like, it, like it as soon as you took it off, it's like, yeah, I remember when he was alive. Like, like, like to me, like, I was or, looking at that. Or better yet, boy, I bet that's what it's like to have a real boyfriend. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, to me, I was just kind of like, oh, you know, she's enjoying some uh, fictional world thing. And you guys are all like... Ah, so that's what she's doing so she doesn't Facebook stalk her ex, you know, or something like that instead. <laughs> you know, like, that's... I see potential in um, virtual dating. Virtual dating. Virtual yeah. dating. Oh, you mean so, like, like uh, people... Like, like, it actually being two real people 
like talking to each other in, instead of like you know talking to like a virtual person yeah. or okay yeah, yeah. So, okay see I was like, like e dating but it's called v dating ooh, ooh v-dating. you could call it v d for short. <laughs> oh, you totally you totally took my joke. You took my joke. Oh, you dick. God damn it. Well, I took that joke from uh, the Goldbergs cuz they did an episode on uh, video dating uh, oh. recently and, and like they they were the guy who was running the video dating thing, he had these tote bags that say I heart VD oh, Jesus. on them. <laughs> and he's just like, here. And just like, I, I'm not going to, I heart VD? Like, no, I'm not going to carry around a bag like that. And, yeah. You know. um, I I mean, that would be, that'd be really neat to, you know, be like in Florida and go on a date with somebody in like, I don't know, North Dakota or something. And, you know, virtual, virtual Reality or even, or even way, imagine like know. today you uh, you FaceTimed with uh, your mom uh-huh. and, and my uh, sister and my niece. Right, right. Who is adorable. Right now, I can't imagine like you know a baby putting on a VR headset. You know, no. <laughs> like, she can't even FaceTime without like hitting the big red shiny button. Oh right. yeah. You know, for but baby VRs. Baby <laughs> VR. Baby VRs. <laughs> but uh, but VR like like say like. Your mom learns how to use one in like ten years. Huh. You know, uh, <laughs> how does this work? You just put it on like this. Uh, she no. still doesn't. Under, she, she she still doesn't know how to do like Amazon lists. So you know, uh, yeah. I, I still have to like write down what I want for Christmas. So <laughs> that that's. So yeah, I, I can imagine. You know, like eventually, she get that down. You know, you get the VR headset and you guys are talking to each other or whatever. And, uh, so she still has you sending stuff to her AOL account. She doesn't have an AOL account. Oh, whoa. She whoa. never did. She didn't get an email address until, like, I don't know, like, before we moved. Right before we moved. And so about e- five years ago? Yeah. Because um, she would always just use my address or uh, my sister's Oh, yeah, because she'd be like, oh, hey, I want this. And I, and I saw on the infomercial that they have a website Go on to the website. Uh huh. And Here's order my it credit for card me. number. Order use it my for me. use your email for me. Right, right, yeah. right. I remember she used to do that. And like, I mean, now she can check her email on her own. She's been able to do that the last two years. I need to find out what her email address is so I can send her my Amazon list. She's like, "What do you want for Christmas?" And I'm like, "Here's all this jujitsu stuff that I want." Right. Yeah. Well, I hate when my mom asks me that. What do you want for Christmas? Well, I don't know. I'm an adult. I can get my shit now. Well, yeah, true. But like, they're, but like, they'll be like, "What do you want?" I'm like, "Don't worry about it." And they're like, "No, I want to get you something. I, know, I want right? to get you something." <laughs> I've I've been the bane of my family like, since I was like eleven. Because and- every year, what do you want? I don't want anything. Oh, but you're a kid. You're supposed to want something. Well, I don't want anything. Well, what do you need? What do you feel like you need? I don't need anything. Your childhood. <laughs> but but I, I want my childhood back. But, yeah, well, that wasn't gonna but happen. But you know, like I have like an Amazon list, and like there'll be something I'm like, oh my god, I want this, and I put it on the Amazon list, and it sits there for like six months, and you know, mm-hmm. maybe I'll get it one day, maybe I won't. Well, then there's also the fact that the one time that I actually fucking wanted something, you didn't get it. I didn't get it. No, not only did you not get it. <laughs> Not only did I not get it, but I asked every, like, it was, I wanted, okay, I wanted the PS3. Right. That's what I wanted. When it first came out. When it first came out. That's what I wanted for Christmas. I didn't want anything else. I didn't even want games, because it was expensive, you know? And I I have a large family, and everyone was like, oh, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I'm like, like I want. like 40 people come to, like, lunch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of insane with, with my family. But anyway. Um, I was just like, this is what I want. I know it's expensive. I want everybody to pull money together. Like everyone just toss in like 40 bucks because that's what we were spending on each other anyway. And I was like, just $40 and I'll be able to get the PlayStation that I want, you know, or like pull all your money together, buy me the system I want. Or, you know, if you want, just throw it all on a gift card and I'll go pick it up myself. You know, and what ended up happening was that I didn't get it, for one. And the reasoning behind I didn't get it was because everyone said, oh, but I want to get you something that's just from me. And it was like, wow, that's a very selfish thing to say. And then my 10-year-old cousin got the PlayStation 3 plus 10 different games. That's a small small one, isn't it? Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, plus 10 different games on top of at least 26 other gifts. At least. At fucking least. And, ooh, I was hot. 
I was upset. I was like, I am never asking for anything ever again because you people suck. And I remember, I, I distinctly remember, I know I've given my aunt a hell of a lot of hard times over this, but there have been several times where I would mention a game. I'm like, oh yeah, I bought this really great, you know, I bought this game that I really wanted and I was so excited and it's really great. And she's like, oh, don't tell your cousin that because he wants it so bad. First thing I do, make a beeline for him. Hey, bud, guess what I have? This. And it's not yours. And he'd be like, Mom, I want this game. And I'd be like, ha, 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 ha. So. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, yeah. I remember that. Like, it, like there was the, the PlayStation, and they got all, and like everybody in the family, like, got all the games for them and stuff. Yep. And like all those other gifts. And yep. you were so mad. Oh, I was so salty. That's all you want. But no, like. I mean, I was an adult, and I would ask for this, and I didn't get what I wanted. But a 10 year old who couldn't even you know, play it unsupervised because he could possibly break things and that shit's expensive. Right. Ugh. Yeah, no, like the, the, uh, but yeah, the thing about like the Amazon list though, like it's all like, what do you want? It's all like, well, here, I've got this Amazon list. Like, take a look at that. And you're like, but, yeah. you know, and it's like, no, just pick something on the damn list, add it to cart, send it to my address. It's simple. Like, and it's not even expensive shit. Like, usually when it gets around, like, the holiday season, like, I'll just start adding random inexpensive crap that might seem interesting. You know, it's just kind of like, oh, look, here's this random book that I might read someday that has a pretty picture on the front. And don't, it's, it's three bucks. Don't worry about it, because uh, this year, I guess, we're not doing gifts except for the kids. Oh, okay. And, um, which is I, fine by me. Which is fine by me. The only problem now is that uh, my aunt is wanting to do that white elephant thing again, a.k.a. she wants to take random knickknacks out of her house and wrap them up and say that they're gifts and give them to everybody uh, to try and clear out her own house. I'm not taking that on the plane. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, seriously. So right. so I, I, I told mom that, you know, we should focus on, you know, just we don't want to carry extra shit home. Right. You know, so she was like, okay, so then I guess, you know, money it'll, it is. It's like, yeah, that'll be good. Right. So, yeah, um... No, it would have been really nice if we would have had this entire conversation in VR. Right. You know, I was just thinking about how weird it would be to be able to, like, instead of having to fly home for Christmas, being able to, like, VR Christmas. Well, I mean, like, I've done, like, the whole, like, hey, just take the iPad, put yeah. me on FaceTime. I know. And sit me at the table. Like, yeah. I've done that. Yeah, we've yeah. totally done that. I, we have we have several Christmas pictures of your face on the iPad. Yes. Because you were not able to come home. Right, right. So, you know, like, it's like all the family, and then, like, Heather's holding down the iPad, and I'm all, like, you know, yeah. just, like, smiling or whatever. And, yeah, I mean, I don't I don't think I've seen any of those on Facebook. Like, we need to, like, track some down so I can, like, post them up okay, for people yeah. to look at. I'll, uh, I'll ask my... Uh, my other aunt, because she's the she's the one who documents all the all the things. Right. So, so. And maybe maybe eventually, you know, we can do like a, like in game screenshot of VR uses. Yeah. You know. It would be interesting to get like my great grandma to do like she is like blown away by FaceTime. Like she is ninety. She's almost ninety four, and like when I FaceTime for like family dinners and stuff, like you know I get passed around. And I get to her and. You know, they're like, oh, you know, there's Heather, and she's like, oh, well, this is just amazing. You know, like, she just, like, blows her mind, and it, she just thinks it's so neat that I'm all the way out here in California, and I can, like, be a part of a family dinner, you know, and yeah, it's, so. It's, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty awesome. So, uh, keeping on the topic of VR, like we're going to do for the rest of the podcast, uh, Batman Arkham VR is coming out, what, a week, two weeks, like a week and a half? Um, no, it's going to come out the same day the PSVR is coming out. October 13th. October 13th. October 13th. So yeah. it come, it's coming the out Launch next, day is the same for both items. Next week. So it's coming out next week. Uh, that's uh, Thursday, a week from uh, when this gets published. So uh, Batman VR is coming out, and uh, it's only an hour long. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, that's why it's cheaper than you know most games. Right, right. So, I'm not surprised. So what? Uh, Batman VR is going to be an hour long for the story, right? Yeah. Okay. And then, is there going to be any additional content? Um, from what I heard, um, not really, but um, you can play it in different ways where it's going to last two hours long. Oh, okay. So so you can like unlock things by playing it in different ways and yeah. exploring different stuff and expanding the gameplay experience. I, I'm bit. actually speaking of Batman VR. Did any of you guys play it at E3? No. No, I didn't. No, no me neither. Because I remember I tried to sign up for it. 
but um, obviously um, all the spots got taken, and I just wasn't able to get to it. Uh, I was I was more excited for Horizon Zero Dawn anyway, like because yeah. I, I really wasn't like interested in like playing anything for like hardware. I wasn't dead set on getting. Right. So like I, I wasn't dead set on getting PlayStation VR, so I wasn't gonna like run around and play around on it. Instead, you know, I wanted to play stuff for the 3DS. Play stuff for the PS4, you know, just regular PS4, that sort of thing. Uh, play stuff, play Zelda, because, you know, I'm going to get Zelda. Yeah, because, like, to be honest, I don't think I've seen any Batman Arkham VR um, gameplay footage. Yeah, I, I really have a hard time, like, wondering, I really have a hard time, like, kind of imagining what that would actually look like for, like, the combat scenarios yeah. and stuff. Like, doing, like, a forward roll that turns into a jump, like, 40 feet to kick a guy in the face, oh, and then to suddenly spin around and backfist the air instead of going to another guy and breaking your combo because I can see someone like uh, tilting in their chair and then like falling out of their chair <laughs> in those sequences. Like it's definitely like when we play this, like if you're if you're gonna play it, like you're definitely gonna have to play it first because yes. of the whole motion sickness. Yes, thing. I will. You I know? will have to be the first so, one to play it so that we, we don't have like that problem. Yeah, but, um, um, I could definitely see how um, you can use the VR for the detective scenes. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. I, I, now, see that that's gonna be badass. Yeah, I, I heard most of the game is gonna be that. I mean, for combat, like how the hell, how the hell are you gonna counter somebody? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, they were saying it was saying that the, uh, uh, like, the the story is going to be like a murder mystery sort of thing. Yeah. You're like hunting down a killer and shit. So, so you're, you're more like Detective Batman yeah. in this one, not like right. not, not like, the goddamn Batman, right? Not <laughs> not like Ben Affleck like running over people with his car and stuff like that. Right, being yeah. all like, I'm not killing you, and they're like splishing and <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Like I was thinking, you know, like if they even do combat in this game, like like remember, like it gives you the prompt, and then you have to press the triangle to counter. Right. Like I was thinking, like you'll see the prompt, but you swing the PlayStation Move controller, you know, in, in the back to you know to counter them or something like that. I, I'm, I'm imagining, like I'm going to be playing this next week. You're going to bring it over, and I'm going to like hit somebody by accident. Yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah. A, we're going to give everybody a wide berth. Well, I remember, I remember when uh, again that same cousin of yours when he had like the PlayStation like motion controls, mm -hmm. the ones that they tried to do with like the Wii and yeah. like I'm sitting there and I was like playing some sword and shield game that came with it and then like your brother came over and just like sat like up against my leg on the floor yeah, yeah. and then got all mad when I hit him by accident <laughs> Yeah, and it's just kind of like you sat he's like well this is where I always sit it's like well wait two minutes yeah, like seriously but yeah but he was he was like kids be dumb yeah but uh I can imagine doing that like next week, like just kind of like, oh god, I'm up to counter, and I just like we're gonna, smack we're gonna you. have to uh, <laughs> yeah. put the cats away to make sure you don't accidentally whack a cat in the face either. <laughs> we're coming over to like Crystal sniff away. the headset. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Frank. <laughs> yeah, I'm also wondering, um, will Batman Arkham VR have like predator mode, where you see everything? Well, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You, I'm, I'm pretty sure they will have detective vision. Right, I, but. You know, like, when, if you had to come up behind somebody and attack them. That would be pretty cool. Like, I can imagine, like, being able, like, in VR to easily kind of do, like, the sneaky ninja yeah, shit. Yeah, that would be so much like, fun. Like, that, that would be really fun. Like, I, I haven't played it. I haven't looked at it. So everyone who has looked at all the videos of it and stuff like that, they're all like, geez, it's, it's been like this for, like, four months now. Catch up. Geez, get good, noob. You know, and stuff like that. But, uh... We're, we're going to be going this into this fresh yeah, next week. Completely fresh. And hopefully playing it live uh, on our Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash battlegeekplus. I just did finger guns and you didn't see it. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> how, how, much, uh, how much is this game going to run? It's only going to be $19. 20 bucks. Yeah. 20 bucks. So yeah, the, an hour bucks. long, 90 minutes long, whatever. Like, it's only... Well, 20 bucks and then also you get the... The you know unlockable content is like as you continue to play the game and over and over again and you know go different routes through it you know it ends up you know two hours game pay, play for a you know a VR only game you know for like a starter game like that's not bad yeah, it, is, it sounds sort of like an oh well, I don't want to say like interactive movie. But, like, the, the length that they're kind of, like, if you really go through and, like, you do, like, the 90 minutes of content, like, including all the bonus stuff and everything. Right. Like, it really seems like maybe they kind of really stretched it out to kind of movie length while you follow this narrative and everything and interact throughout the narrative. Like, that seems like really what they're going for there. And, 
I don't know. When I heard Batman Arkham VR was only an hour long, like I thought this was going to be like a sixty dollar game or something like that. Was, yeah, I would have yeah, yeah. laughed. Yeah, I, I would have laughed. Too. So I'm like, who the fuck's going to buy that, Ryan? Because he's an idiot, <laughs> right? Yeah, like it's just kind of like, oh, it's like every other first person game out there where uh, you know the campaign's an hour long at most, and then you go play online. Ugh. Like, can you imagine Batman Arkham VR online? Oh it's like just God. like a bunch of Batman like running around <laughs> yeah. like the city, just kind of like doing detective stuff. Oh my like, God! Throwing oh objects my God. at each other. I would, I would totally, if I was gonna do that, like I would totally be sure to deck out my Batman to look like uh, the Batman from uh, Zero R. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! With the uh, with, with the the baseball bat and, and the purple and, and the yeah. purple and yellow. Yeah, and, yeah. Like I, I could imagine that, like. Uh, I don't know. I, I'd probably do like Michael Keaton Batman or something like that. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. So so I'd, Frank Batman. Right. Like I'd have to uh, I'd have to modify my headset though, so I wouldn't be able to turn my head. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, I have to like turn my shoulders and everything with it. You know, look that, like a complete dork. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but well, Michael Keaton did it rather well. He did. He yeah. Michael Keaton, hands down, best Batman, ever. Uh, and he did his whole, like, head turning, like, specifically was what I was talking well, about. Well, yeah, but, you know, in general. Right. Like, he he is the Batman. Now, now for anybody who uh, might have caught Heather's comment about uh, Frank being uh, Michael Keaton Batman, if, if you watch Tim Burton's Batman, the 1989 version... And you watch the scene where, like, Bruce Wayne's having his, his, like, casino sort of fundraiser thing in in the mansion with all, like, the important people in the city and all that stuff. When Michael Keaton, like, as Bruce Wayne, like, shows up and starts doing random Bruce Wayne crap, that's totally Frank. It's totally Frank. Like, if Frank were, like, an eccentric billionaire. Like, that's, like... But he's not a billionaire, so he's just weird. Like, Like, Michael Keaton hopped in a DeLorean a time-traveling DeLorean and came to win, like, the future when, like, Frank was an adult and studied him and then just did method acting back in 1989 to make the Bruce Wayne personality for this movie. That's about right. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, so you remember this experience? It happened, like, what, yesterday? I was wondering who the guy with the goggles was. (laughs) (laughs) So... But it makes sense. That's, uh... Well, isn't isn't Michael Keaton playing a villain in the new Spider-Man Mm-hmm. I, I don't thought, remember. I, I think yeah, he maybe. Is. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, no, that you I don't know. You said goggles, and I was just like, wait, isn't he playing somebody in the new Spider-Man? I don't know. Somebody in the comments, like, tell us, like, after you're done complaining that we don't know everything about Arkham VR yet, like, let us know what we don't know about Spider-Man: Homecoming yet. Also, uh, but PlayStation VR comes out next week. Batman: Arkham VR is a launch game for it, but there's still a lot of questions about PlayStation VR, and Sony made this ultimate. FAQ for the PSVR. It's now, huge. Yep. It huge. is ultimate. Like now, Heather, Ryan, you both looked over it a little bit. Like, what, what were some of the uh, things that stood out to you that popped up? Questions and answers. Maybe anything that uh, might have. There was one thing that you know the question was: Can I use my VR headset for non-VR games? And you totally can. Okay. Uh, you'll just be playing the games in cinematic mode. Um, and another one was that, you know, do I have to use a play, use a TV to be able to play this? Um, you would have to use a TV for the initial setup, but after that, um, the TV screen itself is unnecessary. So okay. it's almost like a Wii U tablet that you put on your face. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, like, imagine, like, maybe you can take your Wii U tablet, like, after, you know, you get the NX, and you can just, like, tape that to your face and yeah. have Wii VR. Yeah, there we go. So, but yeah, uh, so you got that. And so that means, like, people could, like, watch TV or whatever while someone's playing on the PlayStation. Right, yeah. When, once, you get, once you get the game going, like, you know, people, you, whoever else is in the room or whatever can change the channel or shut the TV off and the, you can continue playing your game. Okay. So that was, that was great. Uh, yeah, also, yeah. Also, one of the most important ones is yes, you can wear your glasses while while like wearing the PlayStation VR. You too, See, and your glasses. I know, yeah. right? right? How dare I not get LASIK? Like I did, and, and I did. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I wish. Yeah, I bet me and Heather wish we had like the five thousand dollars for each eye. Mm, I I didn't have any money. And I got it in a bank. Alley. How did you? <laughs> I had a coupon. <laughs> you also hit on the girl because you were high. Hmm? You also hit on that girl because you were high. 
No, that was when he was at the dentist. Oh, that was the dentist. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that was, sorry. No, like, For some reason, I was thinking it was at the eye doctor. No, right. no, the, that was the most strenuous 15 minutes of my life, was staring at that laser. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, really? the blinking red dot, yeah. 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 So what are you going to uh, put me at? Oh, you're going to be awake during the whole procedure. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, don't worry, we'll give you drugs, and you'll be, like, more relaxed. They, they gave me, like, half a volume. I don't know what they gave me, but I don't think it worked. Nah, it, it worked for me. Like, I was just, like, sitting there in, like, the waiting room, and, like, they, they wanted to wait, like, 30 minutes for it to kick in, but it kicked in after, like, 10. And I'm sitting there, and I'm just kind of like, Mom, this feels like weed. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know what weed was like then? Yeah, yeah, it was okay. my 20s. Yeah. Oh, that's right, you were in so, your 20s by then. So, yeah, cause they, yeah they, this, this is Mr. Goody Two-Shoes who didn't start smoking anything until after he was like 18. Right, so, um, shut up. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like, it, it was, but yeah, and she's just like, she's like, shut up, you know. But uh, no, Frank, uh, your whole thing about the dentist, though. The one I got my wisdom teeth pulled out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that Heather's talking about. Yeah. But, like, like, what was the story behind that again? Well, when they were uh, about to put me under, they were giving me shots and whatnot. One of the nurses was pretty attractive, one if I can remember. It's a little fuzzy. <laughs> and, hey, you got a boyfriend? <laughs> she said, yes, I do. I was like, oh. Uh, you want another one? <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 uh that's one of my favorite stories to tell, uh when it comes to like people doing like goofy shit on like doctor drugs or whatever. Doctor drugs. Doctor drugs. Doctor drugs. Superhero by day, still a superhero by night. Doctor drugs. But Dr. yeah, Drug. so being able to wear your glasses um, while doing a VR game, I think, is great because, um, especially for people who are nearsighted. You know, like you me. know, I mean, I'm, I'm not nearsighted, but um, you're farsighted. Wait, now I'm confused. Nearsighted is the one where you can see stuff up close, but not. Okay, far away. then yes, I'm yeah. nearsighted. I'm, I'm no, nearsighted. I, I was about to say. Sorry. Imposter. I, I always get them mixed up. Why do you get them mixed up? It's easy. The near. You Shut see up. stuff no. near. No. Far. No. no. You see stuff. Far. Shut up. You don't. There's no like in between. <laughs> Shut up. Vision. <laughs> oh my god. But the point is. The point is. Kind of close sighted. <laughs> <laughs> kind of far sighted. <laughs> but the point is, is you know, uh, for people who need to have their glasses on, you can wear them. Uh, you don't have to resort to wearing things like contacts and whatever. Because oh, yeah, I know. I'm the same way. I can't do contacts oh, yeah. either. Like it, fuck contacts. It, they're, they're awful. Gives me the heebie jeebies <laughs> when you bring up contacts. Because yeah. I used to do contacts. Well, no, you, you, I, I wear contacts. You used sometimes. to scream at yourself in the mirror while trying to put in contacts. <laughs> like you were like amping yourself up. Like, Come on! <laughs> like, 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 yeah. it was, like, like it was kind of like it was kind of like like the Punisher being tortured, you know, uh, in like a tor- like a Punisher torture scene where he's like tied up or whatever, and he's like, "Come on, just kill me already," you know, that sort of thing. Like that's what you putting in contacts is like, you know. Uh, that's that. That's how I remember it, like distinctly. Well, I, I do. I do have a funny story about when I first was wearing contacts. Um, so like my eye doctor at the time, like she had to go on a date after she um, um after I, I was done trying out my contacts. But the problem is, it took me so long to get them in that she had to cancel the date. <laughs> Oh, Ryan. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. You are a horrible... How wow. old were you? I was about 16. Oh, you were a terrible child. I, I, I would have I would have been like... I would have been like, hey, like, if it isn't going to cost any extra money, can I just come back tomorrow? Like, I don't wanna really want to, like... Like, I don't really don't want to ruin your night. Yeah. Like, I, I'd just rather ruin my I night. I think it's so. hilarious that you were even privy to the information that she was going on a date. Yeah, well, yeah, that's what she told me. She was kind of in a hurry. <laughs> oh, well... Shit happens when you're a doctor, people. Yeah. Uh, I, I can just imagine, like, you're just like, there, and you're like, you're like, this is your appointment, you're slotted for this time, she's like, it, now hurry the fuck up, I've got to go on a date here in a little bit, like, this right. is the first one I've been on in, like, six months, like, come on. So, they, they, those, those times at the club don't count. But, anyway, so, yeah, Sony, they've got their VR, it's on the PlayStation blog, uh, it was published on, uh, October 3rd. It is the PlayStation VR Ultimate FAQ if you want to take a look at that and get any of your questions answered about it or its contents or whatever. 
Anyway, uh, that's all the stories that we have today. That's all the dick jokes that we have today. That's all of the... Turtle jokes. Turtle jokes that Batman we have today. Joke, yeah. Batman jokes. All the jokes. All the news. All, all the jokes. chili. All, all the... day long. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, I took five damage. There's, there's the chili. There's <laughs> all that the chili. VR. Yep. There, there's the, uh, there it is. We warned you at the beginning. Hopefully you didn't forget. Anyway, <laughs> you can catch us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash battlegeekplus if you want to watch us play games. Uh, you can also see the archives of those in 15-minute segments on youtube.com slash battlegeekplus. We also have other shows that we do, such as Awesome Video Game Memories, uh, what other shows do we do, Ryan? And what what days do those come out? Let's see. Awesome video game memories usually comes out on Sundays, but um, we might have some special episodes coming out on Tuesdays. You know, f- like for more recent games and some other topics. Okay. And the, um, sometimes we'll have Battle Geek Plus Arcade Edition, where we go to an actual arcade. You know, hey, those still exist, and we play arcade games, and you get to see us play arcade games. It's pretty rad. Uh, we need to actually go do an- another arcade trip soon. I think we're like running short on. Uh episodes for that yeah we're really short okay yeah we need we need to go do some arcade stuff soon maybe we can do some live arcade stuff soon that would be pretty well if we hate our data plans yes ah well i've got plenty of data they got carryover data with verizon now we can kind of uh you know we can play it like around here or there or whatever you know maybe they have some wi-fi we can like tap into that that'd be fun anyway uh again my name's josh and uh, i will see you later with me we have heather bye Ryan, Litter, and Frankie Kong. Join us on an exciting episode of Battle Geek Plus. Later.